As those of you who watch these videos each week know, we are constantly harping on the dangers of federal involvement in our local police, that it leads to federalization of our police in the long run. There's another area that is equally as dangerous, and that is our government schools. The Marxists long ago took over the teachers' unions and advocated for the federalization of the schools. Now they say that they come under the protection of the United Nations. Both of the largest teachers' unions in America, the National Education Association and the American Federation of Teachers, belong to Education International, or EI, which works with UNESCO, the United Nations Education Initiative. The EI was formed by an American leader in the Socialist Party, Albert Shanker, and he served as the first president of the organization. The historic socialist connections to our educational system are frightening. If you want to know more about the Marxist background of teachers, I encourage you to read my book, In the Shadows of the Deep State. It will show you the modern influence of Marxism in the schools. For a more historical look, which even predates Horace Mann, read To the Victor Go the Myths and Monuments. Now back to the subject at hand which is the devious manner in which the Marxists get conservatives to support their education initiatives. As you become more familiar with the Marxist tactics, you will readily be able to see them in their policies, curriculum, and even the funding. Fortunately, parents across this country are waking up to what's happening in our school systems. As a result, Parents are opting to have their children educated in private schools, charter schools, and homeschooling programs. These systems can be a further burden on the parents on top of the taxes they already pay to keep the local schools in operation. In many states, it is usually the most expensive item on their property taxes. Look at your annual tax levy that you are required to pay and you will see that this is likely the case. Because of the added financial burden, I've heard some say that it is unfair that parents have to pay twice to educate their children. The remedy that many are advocating is that the taxes they pay be remitted or credited to those who opt out of the public schools so that they may use these taxes to pay their children's education in the private sector. This can be a very slippery slope. Remember, once the government gets involved in paying for the education of such private systems, soon the government will start to impose their will on these programs. The Marxists know that they cannot allow the education of American children to be out of their hands. They must control the process in order to make all students into nice, docile Marxist minions. This is what they are doing in the regular public school system. They will do the same for independent systems by indirectly controlling the money that is building the home school and private school movement. You will see it done through the taxes that will be credited to the independent schools that many parents are escaping to. At first, it can look to be a good system, but gradually controls will be imposed and sooner or later, the government will control the home school movement and all private schools and academies with the use of taxes. Americans have been conditioned to think that government can just dole out money whenever they see fit. In this instance, they believe the government has the right to tax the people to educate the children. This inevitably leads to the government controlling this system of education. The conditioning of people in this regard will carry over to any new system of paying for education, whether directly into public schools or private schools. This conditioning will ultimately lead to government control over all schools. As of today, the government only controls the public sector. Government is heading in the direction of either eliminating the private sector or at least controlling it. Parents who educate their children outside of government indoctrination today are saddled with a double burden financially. If they accept a rebate or credit 
to use in the private sector, they are setting the system up to be controlled in the long run. What the government finances, it will control. It is that simple. While we have to tolerate the double burden today, we must at the same time work to have the government system collapse as it is currently organized. It is really the only way to save our children from the Marxist indoctrination. Children brought up to love America and all it stands for will help in this regard in the future. Please spread the word so that others can wake up to what is happening. One way to do this is by going to our different social media channels and hitting subscribe, like, and share. And, as always, we recommend Freedom Project Academy as the best in homeschooling.